Hey guys, so a quick video today. I'm just going to be going over how I made this. So Luma Labs recently announced that they have made a plugin for Unreal Engine that allows you to use their nav scans in real time in Unreal Engine 5. So I downloaded the plugin and I was playing around with it and I realized that if I zoom in through the camera um, into the, the nav, you can see this sort of cool effect and it, and it reminded me of an x-ray or maybe like a CT scan or an MRI. So I just added these MRI and x-ray scan sounds. This plugin is really awesome because it means you can have nerf scans in game and it's going to react with lighting and the environment. Right now the nerfs don't have any collision um, but I'm sure that Luma AI is going to work on that in the future. I think this is going to save so much time especially when it develops even more. You won't have to model or worry too much about lighting. Let me just quickly go over how to install the plugin. I'll have a link where you can go into this uh, web page and you have all the information here. You can download one of these starter projects and the starter projects are going to have the plugin built in. So essentially you can just use these projects or you can copy the actual plugin from these projects and put them into your own Unreal Engine 5 uh, projects. So after you've downloaded the starter projects, you now have to download your nerfs. You do this by going to your Luma AI web uh, page and here you can see all of my scans that I've done. What you want to do now is click this download button and you should see here a uh, Luma field file. If you don't see this, that probably means you have to convert your nerfs into this file. So there's going to be a different button here and it will take about 30 to 40 minutes to convert your nerf. So just press this and it's going to download. So what I did was I just opened one of the starter projects and basically just deleted everything. Or you can just copy the actual plugin from the file directory where you downloaded the starter project and then just paste it with the plugins folder into your project. Okay, so it's gonna look something like this so far. And what you wanna do now is find the location where you downloaded the nerf. So here's the Luma file. You just wanna drag it and drop it into the content browser. Once you've done that, you'll see a blueprints folder. And here you see all the different blueprints of your nerf. And you can just drag and drop it into the scene. Uh, before I do that, let me just explain what all of these different blueprints mean. The baked blueprint means all the lighting is already baked and it's not going to interact with uh, your scene. Baked cropped is just the cropped version of the baked. Baked with environment means it will input with a sky environment. Dynamic means it's going to interact with the lighting of your set. Dynamic cropped is just a cropped version. And dynamic with environment is going to import it and it's going to be able to interact with shadows and lighting. But it's also going to include a sky environment as well. So on my PC, I can't really um, render it in real time. So what I do is I go into settings here and I go into engine scalability settings and I set everything to low apart from post processing, but that's because I want to see the depth of field in the camera. So this is the project from the video I showed you in the beginning. So I just imported the dynamic version, added some lighting, and as you can see, the nerf is being affected by the lighting. From that, I just made a cinema camera and added a simple animation. So as you can see, it just goes inside of the nerf and there's a really cool sort of CT scan effect. But with this plugin, you can do way more interesting things. It doesn't have to be sort of these abstract videos that I tend to do. So yeah, that's about it for this video. I'll leave a download link for this project if you want to mess around with that in the description. Don't forget to subscribe and also tell me what kind of videos you want to see on this channel. And that's it. Thanks for watching.